What is up guys? Today we're going to be reviewing Yaver's V2 wireless projector. And when I say wireless, I mean wireless. Besides the fact you have to have one wire plugged in, but forget that. You're actually able to link your phone to this via the Wi-Fi or just a USB cable that comes with your phone. But yeah, you're able to project YouTube from your phone onto here, all over Wi-Fi, no extra cables. I'll show you that feature later on in this video, but for now, let's look at the specifications of Yaver's projector. So if you just came to this video from Amazon, you will see that the title says that this does 1080p. Technically, it does do 1080p, but the native resolution is 720p, and I just wanted to state that so that you guys know what you're getting yourself into, because I personally thought it was actually going to be 1080p, and then it wasn't, so I was kind of confused. I looked in the description down below, and they are clear about it, just the title is a little confusing. This projector is 5,500 lux, Basically just means it's pretty bright. There's no way of really validating whether that is that high or not, but I'll take the word for it. This thing can project a video that is about 200 inches big. Of course, you're gonna lose some quality the bigger you go. The optimal is gonna be about 70 inches for this guy, which is still really big. If you guys are worried about this projector at all, just know that Yaber is gonna give you about five years of protection. So if you guys have any damage or anything go wrong with this, Yaber will actually be able to fix it for you or they could give you your money back if it's within six months. This projector also has a zoom function and a keystone corrector, so if you're at a weird angle, you're able to fix it. Another nice thing about this projector is that it has a pretty good speaker for its size. It's better than some other projectors I've looked at, and it's pretty loud. Obviously, you're not gonna get the same quality as a sound system, but it's just coming from a little projector, so for its size, it's doing pretty good. So Yaver supposedly says that this lamp is gonna last you 100,000 hours. I have no way of validating that because I don't plan on even having this projector for that long. I'll probably lose it somewhere by time I watch that many movies on this outside or something. So, I mean, I guess you're not gonna ever have problems, but say it goes out within five years, you're gonna get a replacement either way, so. Good job. On this projector, we have a bunch of different ports. It looks like we have a micro SD card port, a headphone jack so that you're able to put your audio out, an AV jack which allows you to go to component cables, USB slash T, and a USB cable. Basically, one is power and one doesn't do power or something like that. I'm not fully sure. Then we have the HDMI that you'll need, and then the VGA. As you look over the projector, you'll see that it has rubber feet on the bottom and a little razor that is off center. Um, it still works though, it doesn't usually rock. And then on the back, it just looks like IR scanners. So whenever you have your remote, you're able to actually use it. There are some buttons on the top of it, like power and volume and an okay back, all that fun stuff. And then of course on the back here, you have the speaker that you can see, and that's basically it for the projector. Make sure you guys stay till the end of this video because I will have some scenes of me using this projector just in case you're interested. In this box, we have a power cable. We have the AV jack, which has component cables. And then they also give us an HDMI cord, which is pretty nice. And then they also give you this little cloth so that you can clean the dust off the lens. And they give you a remote, which is pretty helpful, especially if you have it mounted somewhere and you don't want to go press it. Or if you have it perfectly in focus and you don't want to mess it up, just use the remote. Also, I just thought it was pretty cool. They actually ship the projector in something like this. It seems very protective. Like, I don't think I could break this in a box. So currently we have this projector hooked up to an iPhone with just a normal USB to lightning cable and we have it projecting up behind my bed and I would say that's at about 80 to 90 inches, maybe even bigger. So to put that into perspective, this is a king size bed and that is the screen. So like I was saying earlier, this projector is wireless so you can connect to AirPlay and then stream whatever you want up there. So this is just replicating the phone right now. And of course, since I have to use the Wi-Fi signal to connect to the projector, it doesn't load all that fast because I'm just relying on T-Mobile. So what you could do is download a movie on Netflix and then wirelessly project it from your phone. These are just the instructions on how you do it with Android or iPhone. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I personally prefer just plugging it in with a lightning cable because 
It keeps the phone charged while you're going. So that is my review of the Yeber projector. If you guys would like to check one of these things out, make sure you guys find the description down below. I'll have a link for one down below. It is an affiliate link, so that will help support my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next review.